you got your pre-sale code, you went through the queue, you went to check out those tickets, you got all the way to the end, and then you can see the worst thing that could possibly happen to you, the worst error ever over the ticket limit. Huh? Hey guys, what's up? My name's Shiraz here on Thumbs Up Run where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, that little bell icon below to make sure that you never miss out on another ticketing video ever, ever again. So today I want to talk all about ticket limits. You know, what are ticket limits? How are they enforced? And lastly, what happens if you go over? Let's dive into it. All right, first off, first thing you gotta know, what is a ticket limit? This ticket limit is the maximum amount of tickets one person or one account is allowed to buy. Now, when you think about it, it's a very simple concept. They wanna make sure that the most amount of fans can actually buy tickets to go to those events, and so they have to limit the amount of tickets one person can actually own, so that, you know, gives everybody a fair shot. Again, they also use these limits to make sure that ticket brokers and bots are not the ones who are able to snatch up every single ticket, giving everybody an equal opportunity. Fantastic, that's great. What could possibly go wrong? If you take a look here, there's a few ways though that it can get a bit more complicated. So if we use Guns N' Roses, for example, with their fan club, they had a, a code, a unique code that could be used up to four times. And so Ticketmaster, they're making sure that they're, you're not gonna go over the limit. So what they've done is they've actually integrated a use of specific pre-sale codes uh, into each event so that once it starts tracking how many tickets you've bought in the past, it will then automatically limit you to being able to complete a purchase that will put you over. Fantastic, it's great, it's a good system. A lot of times, sometimes you don't even realize like, oh, maybe I clicked too many blue dots, and then all of a sudden it just, it won't let you advance. So you know, fantastic, great, it'll stop you right there, you won't have to worry about it going forward. Excellent. Now, if you take a look at the fine print though, it can get a bit more complicated. So we look at what it says here for fan clubs, there's a four ticket maximum for the fan club. But then it says there's an eight ticket maximum for everything else. So that brings up the question, okay, can I buy four fan club tickets and eight? Eight more tickets on top of that from the, just the general sale? Not quite. The problem you're gonna run into is that these, these rules can get a bit convoluted, a bit confusing, just don't quite make much sense. What they're trying to say here is that the total event limit is eight. However, of that eight, only four can be bought through the fan club. So if you're trying to buy a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth ticket through the fan club with your same code, it won't let you. It's basically exceeding the posted ticket limit. So then if I try and add eight regular type of seats and then I try and add another four tickets on top of that through the fan club, I'm gonna get a bunch of errors, gonna say, hey, you can't do that, stop. No, stop, no, 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 I'm serious, just, just stop. Just, 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 just back away from the phone. No, fantastic, it stops you, can't go any further, do not pass go, do not collect $200, or in rather this case, do not spend $200, whatever. It won't let you do it. Another example, if you take a look at BTS, the way they had designed their pre-sales. So there were two various levels of the verified fan pre-sale. First off, they had the actual fan club verified fan pre-sale, where you had a maximum ticket limit of two tickets per event. But then if you look at the other general verified fan pre-sale, there was actually a four ticket limit total. So again, it's a bit confusing, and a little bit different, but Bear with me here, follow along. The first fan club pre-sale code, that allowed you to buy two tickets per event. So you could go to every single event, buy two tickets, you would not have any issues, you wouldn't have any errors, it would all be fantastic. Now the person who's on just the general verified fan pre-sale, they are allowed four tickets total. So once that code gets used for up to four tickets across however many events you're looking to buy for, then it'll just stop working. So then you might be thinking, okay, how can I beat this? How can I outsmart Ticketmaster. Mm. So what someone might be doing, and they're trying to be sneaky, they'll say, okay, I'm gonna set up in this queue, I'll put four tickets. And in this queue, I'll put four tickets. And in this queue, I'll put four tickets. And then I'll try, you know, I'll try and line it up so I'll hit the, the buy button at the exact same time. Genius. Yes, sounds like a great idea. It might be able to get past the Ticketmaster controls that are in place, but then uh, somewhere down the line, you might run into a problem. What problem, you may ask? the problem of orders getting canceled. We don't want that, that's bad, we don't like that. Sometimes it, it, it can create a lot of problems. So, what's gonna happen here, Ticketmaster, they'll have something that's called a delivery delay. It's not used for every single event, but it is a very commonly used tactic to give themselves enough time to make sure that they can do a sweep of all the different orders that have been placed and make sure that nobody's actually gone over the stated ticket limits. What are the things, though, that Ticketmaster is looking for? They're looking for duplicate account information. So that means same name, same email address, same billing information, same IP address even among any other various factors that they're using to make sure they're tracking if you're going over the ticket limits or not. Basically, Ticketmaster is trying to say, hey, 
even if you found a way to bypass our controls that we have in place, we're still gonna get you. We're gonna get you, and we're gonna get you good. You know how I mentioned in all those other videos about your accounts getting flagged? This is something that Ticketmaster will use during this, you know, this delivery delay process. They're gonna go in, they're gonna say, okay, this person's account, they're linked to this account, and this account, and this account, and this account. So Ticketmaster will be able to then use, with their algorithm, be able to go in and say, okay, did any of these 10 accounts buy tickets for this event? Yes or no? If yes, they're gonna say, okay, how many of them bought them, and how many tickets did each of these accounts buy? It's going to compare the ticket limit maximum to the total amount of tickets that were ordered between all of these different accounts. Very simply, if it found that account one bought two tickets, account two bought four tickets, account three bought eight tickets, and the maximum ticket limit was eight, what Ticketmaster can do is then say, okay, the max is eight, they bought 14 tickets, we need to cancel at least six, if not more, of these tickets. Ticketmaster, with their overall discretion, they can do essentially whatever they want. They have it in their terms of condition saying, if you go over the stated ticket limits, Ticketmaster can and will cancel orders however they want. Cancel the one ticket order that's gonna put you over, or they're gonna cancel everything altogether. It doesn't matter, they can do anything they want. So again, be very, very careful when buying tickets. Also, one way to make sure that you prevent getting your tickets canceled is by smashing the like button. With that being said, you also need to be extra careful if you're using the same credit card across multiple accounts. So if your friend is gonna use your credit card and you're gonna use your credit card and you're both buying tickets for the same event, you have to be extra, extra careful. Because what's gonna happen is Ticketmaster is gonna say, hey, this credit card was used for account one and account two, and the ticket limit maximum was four tickets total. And I found out that account number one bought four tickets, account number two bought four tickets. I don't know which one I wanna cancel, so I'm just gonna cancel all of them because you're over the ticket limit. Very dangerous, very scary. You don't wanna be in this situation. So it's very important, very, very, very important that you don't go over the ticket limits and you make sure that you stay within all the rules and confinements that Ticketmaster has set for us. Don't want your orders canceled, don't wanna not have a fun time. You gotta make sure your tickets get to you and so make sure you stay within the rules. Now back to delivery delays. What are they? So essentially the way these work it's very very simple. Ticketmaster will say hey I want to give ourselves enough time to do a sweep of all the orders that have been placed to make sure that none of them are going over the stated ticket limits. So what they'll do it'll generally be somewhere between you know two to four days sometimes it can be a couple weeks sometimes it can be as long as 24 hours before the event actually starts. So it's a wide wide range of when these tickets are actually going to be able to be posted to your account. Now these delivery delays they're just there to protect themselves make sure no one has gone over the ticket limits. With all of that being said though again I have to say it's not a foolproof 100% perfect system. I know this, you know this, everybody knows this, the ticket brokers know this, the bots people know this, everybody knows this. And so with that, obviously they're not gonna be able to catch every single person who goes over the ticket limit. Sometimes it can be as simple as someone saying, okay, I'm gonna have this friend over here buy tickets on their account, I'm gonna get this friend over here to buy tickets on their account, and then I'm gonna have them give them all the tickets to me, I'm gonna go sell them for millions and millions of dollars, go on a fantastic vacation, laugh at everyone, ha 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 ha. And then, you know, just, just work with it that way. So again, not a perfect system, but it is there, there are rules in place, there are certain things done, all just trying to help prevent people going over the ticket limits. Now what happens if you by accident went over the ticket limit? That's an excellent question. If you're a fan and you went over the ticket limit, you you don't have too many options. You, yes, you can go ahead and contact Ticketmaster, but what's gonna happen is they're just gonna come back and say, hey, we'll look into it when we're doing the sweep of all the other accounts, but at this time, unfortunately, we cannot do anything about it. You're just forced to have to wait. And that's what it ends up coming down to, you're just waiting. With that being said, sometimes these orders will not be canceled. Reason behind it is a couple of reasons. One, there may not have been a ton of demand for the event, so Ticketmaster might think, hey, you know what, it's fine, we're just gonna let it go. No no big deal. And then other times it's just, they just, they just don't catch it. So then it, it, they, it just goes through uh, and then just everything, life goes on, no big deal. Essentially, if you get to the delivery delay date and your tickets end up getting posted to your account where you can now go ahead and access them, it means your tickets did not get canceled. Everything is fantastic. It means, okay, we've gone through the searching. We've made sure that no one has gone over. If they didn't find that your account had gone over it by that point and they've actually posted the tickets to your account, then fantastic, you've got your tickets. They could still, between the time of the delivery delay and when the event actually happens, still cancel your order. But what I would say at that point is it's a very unlikely chance of it happening if you get to the delivery delay and the tickets do post. Last thing I wanna mention, with delivery delays, it doesn't matter what type of you know ticket delivery method you selected, whether it's a hard stock ticket, mobile ticket, PDF ticket, will call ticket, it doesn't matter, it's irrelevant, it's still gonna function the same way. So if it's a paper ticket you ordered, your tickets just won't be shipped until that delivery delay passes. If it's an e-ticket or a mobile ticket, it'll just get posted 
posted to your account when the delivery delay passes. And if there is no delivery delay for that event, then it's just a matter of waiting and seeing if your order is going to get canceled if you went over the limit. So if you get into that, you know, 72, 48, 24 hour window, and your tickets still haven't been canceled and you are over the limits, then by that point, I wouldn't be worrying at all anymore. It's more just in that early, early stage when you think you've gone over and just kind of waiting and seeing what Ticketmaster is going to do. That's kind of the more scary situation. But again, if you get to the delivery delay date and your tickets all post, fantastic. Those tickets are going to be yours. For the most part, I would say most people don't need to worry about this because there are a lot of controls in place to prevent people from actually going over the ticket limits from the beginning. But if by some chance it just kind of happens, unfortunately, this, this is something that you do need to be aware of. So make sure that you try and keep everything, you know, hunky dory, above board, 100% real. Don't want to do anything too sketchy to get yourself in a situation where your tickets are going to get canceled. All in all, follow the rules and you'll be fine. So with ticket orders, make sure you try and stay within the ticket limits. If you go under the limits, you're fantastic. If you go over the limits, you're not so fantastic. But I still love you guys anyway, so it's not a big, big deal, but it's just a little bit of a deal. Just, just a little bit. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of great content coming out every single week, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet already. And I'll see you guys next time.